Nothing like waking up in the morning to a hot steaming cup of character assassination. <laughs> uh, this is a gaming channel. I don't typically do much crypto. I don't talk much crypto. But overnight, uh, there was an explosion in hate and anger over a video I put up, which is launching Spacebucks. Spacebucks is a channel rewards, channel point system. The way I explained it, I'm going to do a quick summary for you. On Twitch, if you've ever been to Twitch, on the bottom right-hand corner, there are channel points you get by watching a streamer. So if you want Shroud's stream, there are channel points you accumulate by being in his channel. I said I want to make something similar to that, and it is this. Now, to the shock of many of you that don't know this, Spacebucks was actually launched last year. This is the relaunch. We have been happily using this since June of last year. Overwhelmingly happily accepted. Always enjoy the commentary. Cheers. Uh, people give me the address. Keep up the news. Thanks for the videos. Uh, you're awesome. Love the vids. How is it we launched this eight months ago to overwhelming positivity, but this time nothing but hate? Well, there is a Discord channel called Pipeline, formerly known SC Leaks, and there's a lady running that named Aria. And Aria, I don't I didn't know this is the content they cover on Pipeline. I guess it must be quiet times because there aren't any leaks. But she wrote a scathing piece accusing me of a whole bunch of things. And look, I get it. When it comes to crypto. I get it, I do this. I talk about crypto in my videos, not much, but I do warn people, here's a video of me, when Doge ran to 30 cents, I'm explaining in this video how people must avoid Doge. I educate people, I'm trying to warn them of the scams, and there's tons of them in crypto, I do it all the time. This was a particularly uh, interesting one, because uh, Elon Musk was pumping Doge at the time, <laughs> if you remember that. Uh, in this video here, which was on where are we? April 21st of 2021. I warn people that Doge is not going to go higher. People are coming up to me saying, hey, I'm going to buy more. My cousin told me it's going to $5. My mother's friend's gardener said it's going to $10. I was saying, no, you're insane. You're all crazy. I explained why in this video. I said it takes $130 million of fresh cash to absorb all the new Doge coins being minted. It is not a good coin for the long term. And in fact, if you look at a chart of what Doge did since uh, April 21st, you can see where I mentioned it over there circled to where it is right now. Now, I didn't call the top, but uh, it's unsustainable at these levels. The amount of fresh buying need makes those an extremely difficult coin to uh, hold on to. And I stand by that. Uh, I'm just giving you some examples so you understand where I'm coming from on the topic of crypto. Who remembers this one? This is when Paris Hilton went on the Jimmy Fallon show and I was questioning my sanity if this was reality. She was showing her board ape. Fallon's going, here's my board ape. Now these are $100,000 JPEGs. And I was going nuts. I was going, how is this real? There's no way this is real because it's insane. But what this was an indication of was market euphoria. And I said in this video, I said, guys, this is market euphoria. This is January 25th of 2022. Market euphoria means market tops. And there it is, the blue circle where I talked about it. Bitcoin was at 52,000. Where is Bitcoin right now? Yeah, down there. So yeah, good call again. I'm warning people. I'm sharing the knowledge I have for those who might be interested. There was a guy actually contacted me a couple of weeks later. And he said, thank you very much because uh, he was interested in buying something, but he didn't. So uh, I saved him there. More recently, I've been talking a bit about FTX and Star Atlas. Now, FTX is the exchange which collapsed. Star Atlas, I want to love. Look, I'm fascinated by the world of crypto and I love internet spaceships. So if you put the two together, you'd think I'd be all over it. But you know what? Star Atlas has a tough hill to climb. Uh, they had some funds sitting at FTX. FTX went under. They lost the funds. I said in this video, it's clickbaity. It said project is dead. Uh, because they're going to be running out of funds. But you know what? In their defense, in January or February, they did actually bring in a million dollars. And so I made a follow-up video saying project is mostly dead. But overall, warning people of things I see, I think it's educational, I think it's fascinating, which brings me onto the topic of space bucks and what's going on. I understand the concern. Aria, if she's altruistic and wants to protect the community, I get it. And the issue is this. Um, actually, you know what, first, let's just cover this topic here. Um, space bucks was launched eight months ago. We have been happily using this for eight months with zero problems. 
Now this video is deleted, it's unlisted, because I go on to explain how to get this into your wallet, and at the time, we were using MetaMask. We've come off the BCH chain. For full transparency, let me explain what happened and why this video is down, and why the new one is up. We were using BCH. All right. Now, BCH needed to be bridged. I know this is going to be complicated for those who don't follow crypto, but for those who do, let me explain what happened. BCH needs to be bridged to Smart BCH. Smart BCH is EVM compatible, and that's what we used in our MetaMask, and we were happily using it for months, passing it back and forth. Oh, it's your birthday? Have some space bucks. Oh, you took a pretty picture? Have some space bucks. It's your anniversary. Happy anniversary. Have some space bucks. The problem was, remember when Luna that uh, Algo stablecoin went under, uh, the exchange which facilitated this bridge was called CoinFlex, and they were an indirect casualty of that. And what's supposed to happen with a crypto exchange is you give them BCH, they give you SBCH. SBCH is used as gas and everything on EVM, which is what we need to make this work. Now that bridge went down, all right? Crypto exchange, go to crypto exchange. They took the BCH and what they do with it? They blew it out. They gambled it away. It is gone. So that bridge was no longer available, meaning you can no longer get over there and get smart BCH, which is useful gas. Everything on here is stuck. It can't move. We needed to go to a new chain. And that's what we did. So all this is, all this is, is relaunching a tool we had eight months ago already on Solana. And we've been happily using it for months with zero complaints accepted very happily by everyone in the comment section there. Uh, so I do understand where people are coming from. I do understand where Arya is coming from. She is concerned. And her concern, well, I haven't spoken to her. I don't know her personally. But I can guess what her concern is. And the concern is this. Can I say, I can say poo coins. Uh, YouTube has a thing about swearing. I'm not going to use the S word. A poo coin is... Anything that's not a Bitcoin, if you talk to a Bitcoin maxi, anything that is not Bitcoin is a Poo coin. Poo coins are essentially what um, Doge, Shiba, well, Space Bucks, that's all Poo coins. And the thing is, 95, 90, I want to say 97% of the time, even more, feel free to toss in your opinion. This is what you'll see happen with Poo coin prices. They go whoop and smash. This is the pattern. Over and over and over. Can I guess this happens 97% of the time? Even more. This is the concern Aria has. This is a concern everyone has. And yeah, I see it. You see it. This is what happens all the time with his poo coins. Now, perfectly valid. I get it. But we've been using Space Bucks for months. Space Bucks has been doing this. This is what's happening. This was happening when we were on the BCS chain. And this is what's going to be happening when we're doing it now. I understand these concerns. People have the concerns, but this is the reality. This is not the reality of I had something. This is what has been happening for eight months on the other chain too. So another question has been coming up. I've seen several people actually message me and ask me, hey, why do you have to do this in crypto? Why can't you do this another way? And that is a great question. Well, first of all, I am not a coder. I don't know how to code. There's a certain thing I want, which I don't find available. And that is I want a rewards token. I want a channel points token. That is platform agnostic. This does not exist. No one has this. I don't know if, if you guys know community that does have something like this, let me know. I'm curious to see what they've done with it. I want to be able to reward my live stream viewers on YouTube with channel points, much like they do on Twitch. And I call those channel points space bucks. So I can give it to you, oops, excuse me, I can give it to you on YouTube, but I can also give it to you on Discord. Oh, it's your birthday, happy birthday, 10 space bucks. On my own forums, hey, you posted the pretty picture, no problem, have 10 space bucks. Oh, on Twitter, you made a funny meme, have 10 space bucks. I can pass this to you anywhere on any platform. I want a point system that is platform agnostic. I don't know of any existing tool which does this. If it exists, sure, let me know. But I went to what technology is out there and available right now, and that is Web3 and crypto. So look, this is my first uh, rodeo in this. I've not done this before, and uh, if there's suggestions or things you would like to pass along to make this better, by all means, feel free. Uh, but that's where we are. That's what we've done. 
And uh, I hope this has answered any questions. But if you do have any more questions and you'd like to know more, post below. I'll try to answer them as best of my abilities. And as for Arya, who kicked this all off, well, look, you know what? I don't think she had bad intentions. I think she's simply trying to protect the community if that's who she is. I, again, I don't know her personally. But again, we've been doing this for eight months. And this is what we've been doing. We're not doing this. Uh, there's no dev, there's no one out there looking to dump, there's no one being told to buy it. Space Bucks is being given out, like channel points. Like streamers give out channel points, we're giving out our, our Space Bucks. That's all it is. Uh, for sure there's going to be concerns, I get it, but uh, feel free to post below and we'll take it from there. So thank you for staying till the end, I appreciate it. Comments below.